Knock down one. Knock down one. Down two, down two. All in, all of them dead. Hey. Hello. There. Hello everyone, I am Mr. Rain, and today we are taking a look at Apex Legends. Apex Legends is the new battle royale developed by Respawn and published by EA Games. It is a part of the Titanfall universe, but there are no pilots or titans available. The game currently only has a 3-man squad mode as opposed to solos, duos, or 4-man squads, which is more popular among the typical battle royale games. You choose from a roster of characters with each one having their own skills and ultimate abilities. Unlike other games such as Overwatch, these ultimate abilities don't feel overpowered and not all of them are lethal. Precise timing with your squad and choosing the right combo of characters can lead to some unique synergy. The game also offers the ability to respawn your teammates if they get finished off. It's a neat concept and one that I do appreciate. It's also very risky, but if you know what you're doing, this can be a really cool way to even the odds. Alright, so now we know what it is, let's talk about it. First off, I know people are upset that it's not a true Titanfall game, and that there are no Titans. However, the game is called Apex Legends, not Titanfall Legends. To their credit, they marketed the game properly. Now about those three-man squads. Understandably, Respawn wants to make their game unique, and by including skills and ultimates, they want to make sure the game doesn't feel unbalanced either. So controlling the playlist to simply three-man squads is their band-aid. But it feels like a band-aid. One that the community wants ripped off right away and get into solos and duos. Respawn wants the game to be team based. However, that only works when you have a team. With the game being new and free to play, the chances of getting a teammate that's not going to split on you are low. It would be far easier to understand the game with a duo setting. I'm all for solos as well, but playing along with the whole team based gameplay Respawn wants to sell, I'll settle for a duos playlist. The skills and ultimates are unique and situational. They don't feel overpowered, but I can see some nice team-based potential with mixing these skills together. So now, how does the game feel? It, well, it, it plays pretty well. There may be some spots where the optimization is spotty and some server instabilities as well. Hopefully these things can be resolved quickly, but from my experience, it doesn't occur too often. When it does, it's very noticeable, however. There's also a number of players losing connection, which has happened to me a few times, but not as often as others. It is worth mentioning that currently the game does not have a reconnect option. The gunplay feels nice, there's bullet drop and velocity as you should expect, but the weapon variety is awkward to me at the very least. Most rifles and PDWs are single or burst fire weapons, and there are rare attachments you can find to add to your weapon that will allow some of them to work at full auto. I'm not 100% for this to be honest. I much prefer having a few weapons that are full auto to begin with and have the stronger weapons be limited to only single or burst fire. Having a decent full auto weapon to me feels difficult to find right now and I'm not familiar enough with them to know which ones are full auto to begin with. I feel the game right now does a really bad job at introducing weapons and their variants or their upgrades and just lets you figure it out for yourself. Typically I wouldn't count this as a bad thing, but when you're wasting 10 minutes every round, grabbing whatever you can, only to die seemingly instantly, it takes a toll and makes for a bad experience. I personally would like to see a team deathmatch type mode that allows us to experiment with how the weapons handle against other players before going into a match. At least this way it wouldn't feel as bad or as confusing as to why someone's dealing more damage to you, and why you're losing gunfights as well as to know how these weapons work. There's also a concerning detail as to the tick rate of the servers. We don't know for sure, but the rumor is out that the tick rate currently is at 20, whereas the more popular tick rate for other games tends to be around 60 or more. That being said, the game doesn't seem to have a bad hit registry or any noticeable lag other than what was mentioned before with the servers. Hopefully we will learn more about what's going on, but even at the rumored tick rate of 20, the game still feels solid for the most part. And that is Apex Legends. The game's fine the way it is now, it has potential to be even better, and I guess it's best to say it's a little rough around the edges right now. The issues it does seem to have seem to be situational and hopefully a patch or two will smooth them out. In my opinion, gunplay and weapon variety needs to have a quick mode that allows players to experiment and better understand the game. There is a target range in the tutorial, but it's not the same shooting at a still target compared to an actual player running and jumping around. I am Mr. Rain. If you found this video enjoyable and learned something new, please give the video a like, and if you want more, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.